Good morning, everybody. Hope you've had a good week so far, and I've got a big weekend planned. And uh, in the meantime, we'll look in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2. We'll like, share, comment, and then we will dig in. Uh, Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 10. Uh, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. You are not saved by good works. Now, it's not a result of works that no man may boast, but we are his workmanship. We are saved to do good works. No amount of good works can uh, buy you salvation. No amount of good works can get a person uh, into heaven. But once we are uh, saved, once we are part of the family of God, then we should act like it. We should have uh, good works. He says, you are created in Christ Jesus for good works. We are to do uh, good things. That um, Again, it doesn't get us salvation, uh, but it is a result uh, of salvation. God is working in you as a believer, as a child of God. He is working in you to accomplish, to do uh, good works. He, he's uh, wanting to do something with you, something in you, something through you. Uh, you are being uh, recreated. You are being uh, created here, it says, in Christ Jesus uh, to do uh, good works, uh, that you are to do good things. And the reason for that is so that God may be glorified, that God uh, may be honored. I, I think many of you uh, know someone probably uh, who, uh, who who once upon a time lived uh, uh, maybe a, a less than God-honoring life, but they met Christ, they became a follower, and now they, they their life is completely different, and you, you see it, uh, and you know uh, that there's no way that person made that change on their own. Uh, you know what they used to be. Uh, you know how they used to live. And now you see the difference in them. And you know they didn't just get up one day and decide, hey, I I'm going to do better. Uh, that God had to be involved in that change. Uh, that God had to be making a difference in, in their life. And that God uh, gets the glory uh, for that. And that is what God wants in every believer, that our works uh, would bring him glory. Again, don't bring it, they don't bring us salvation but they bring God, uh, God glory. And, and I fully believe uh, that many Christians uh, are unhappy. Uh, they are unsatisfied because they're not living this verse. Um, if you, um, if uh, you take, uh, if you have a, a skill, maybe some of you have worked in this situation before, been in some situation like this where uh, your skills, you have abilities and your employer is not fully used using uh, those uh, abilities. Imagine someone who is a world-class trained brain surgeon and someone puts them to work uh, packing boxes. Nothing wrong with packing boxes, by the way. Um, but um, I think you know that a, a world-class uh, brain surgeon, uh, neurosurgeon, uh, would feel very unsatisfied in his life if he was packing boxes, uh, if he was, um, you know, doing most anything other uh, than, uh, do, than doing brain surgery. He would feel unsatisfied, unfulfilled in what he is, uh, what he's doing. And that's what, uh, I think that's the reason many Christians are unhappy, uh, unsatisfied, is because we're not living up to the workmanship. Uh, we're not doing the good works that God uh, has already prepared, that we should walk in them, not could, not might, but that we should walk in them. And I leave you this morning uh, with this thought. Are you doing, are you accomplishing the good works that God has uh, for you? Are you the person? Are you doing the things? Are you doing the will of God? Uh, are you living out, becoming his workmanship and doing his works? If you're not, I promise you, you're going to be a miserable person. But if you want to have joy and peace, you live out, you accomplish, you, you, you get involved in doing the work that God has for you. Think about it. We'll see you here tomorrow morning.